Okay, it says recording. There you go. Okay. All right, so first question. What day did you first meet in person and where was it? What day? Like what date? What day? Or? Like the date. Day of the week? No, it doesn't have to be the day of the week. Just the day, the actual date. Yeah. I don't know the day. <laughs> well, then you and, one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and no talking. And where was it that you met? Unless he doesn't know the date either. Yeah. Then neither they fall and where was it? And where was it, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Show us your answers. We have Panera okay. Bread Saturday in October, and we have October 28th at Giordano's Pizza. <laughs> Panera? Oh, she's right. <laughs> but I had the date right. You had the date right. Okay, race no points on that one. What do you win? Huh? No, they don't get it. No, they don't. They only get a point if they both match. They both have to match. I'll get you Kleenex. You could just wipe it. As I said, yeah, yeah, that would work too. Then why am I keep being poor? Because then there'll always be a tie. No, 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 no. Only if the two answers match, they get a point. They have to try and get as many points together together okay, she was doing against. Oh. yeah no it's not against it's just a point together yep okay yeah that should work yep those, should, those will work too if you don't want to have to erase with the thing all right ready for the next one if not the same as the previous answer where was your first official date what does that mean like, it, was it was that your first official date, the answer you just gave us? That was that your first date? Yes. Yeah. Or, okay, I didn't, sometimes people meet before they uh, actually date. Oh, I okay. see. No, that was it. So that was the You're official. Right so okay. <laughs> we get a point. So you get a point because now you remember that was your first date. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, here's a hard one. Where was your first kiss? And I mean location, not on the body. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll see. Answers? Yay! <laughs> All right, here's a tough one. Who was the first to say I love you? <laughs> Oh, we get a 50-50 shot on that. Yeah, right. 50 Okay, answers? Oh. <laughs> she has no idea. What did you write? You. It was a guess. It was a guess. All right. This is... For Bobby to answer correctly, and Paul, you put down your right answer. So, what is Paul's favorite pizza topping? And yes, I am missing my Chicago pizza desperately. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Answers? And your answer? Paul? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Did you put spinach? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's right because it's his favorite. <laughs> okay, number six. Again, this is for Bobby to answer and to see if he knows what drives you crazy. So, which of Paul's housekeeping habits drives you the most crazy, Bobby? Don't show your answers until I say answers. Okay, ready? Answers, please. 
We have recycling plastic bottles for him, leaving plates out of the dishwasher for her. Huh? Well, that's your most annoying thing. You're telling him, stop leaving the plates out, and he's telling you that his recycling habits are what drives you crazy. No, not at So. <laughs> stop leaving the plates out. Okay. Believe me, I got it. <laughs> okay. If Bobby, now this is for Paul to really be answering, but you to write down the correct answer. If Bobby could relocate anywhere in the world, where would she want to be? <sighs> they better get this answer right after what I heard. Ready? Yay! Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> what's in Boise, Idaho? <laughs> oh, yeah, what's in Tatum? Thinking about retirement. Um, and no, we've never been there. there. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> low crime, low, uh, low cost of living. Uh, you can get a five acre spread for the cost of what my house costs here, and property taxes are like $1,200 a year. So money is what? Well, but <laughs> there's mountains. And you're, oh, I've never you're been near, to Idaho. You're oh, near um, all the, a bunch of national parks yes. in Wyoming, and we love the yeah. West. So we're thinking about it. Well, yeah, it's nothing said. I mean, we haven't got it right. So that's good. That's good. They've definitely talked about that. I knew. I knew they talked about. it, So I was hoping they would come up with it. <laughs> Lake Tahoe. Oh, like close. Getting close. Nice. All right. Next question. So, Bobby. What do you feel is Paul's most overused phrase? Like he says it all the time. You're just like, yeah, okay, I'm done with you saying that. So what do you think is your most overused phrase, and what does she think your most overused phrase is? Like all the time, he just always says it, you know, in response to something he, that's always the same way that he says it, you know. Not that it annoys you, just he says it all the time. It's just like one of those things that when you hear it, you know that that's Paul, you know. Well, if not, who else is in the house? <laughs> no, 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 but I mean like when you hear that phrase, you're like, oh yeah, my husband says it all the time. Can we skip it? Because I don't know. Do you have anything? I just guessed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No? We'll okay. We'll skip that one then. So no points on that one. All right. Here's the tough one. Put a line in the center. Put a line right down the center. Just like right across. Yep. Mm -hmm. Horizontal. Okay. And on the top part, I want you to write what is Paul's shoe size. And on the bottom, I want you to write what is Bobby's shoe size. Did you write it yet? I'm going to wait for Paul's answer. Okay, ready? Show. Uh, almost. Almost. You had the right Paul size, but he put you at an eight and a half. What is your nine? Okay. They get one point for that one instead of two. <laughs> All right, here's another two point possible. Two point possible, Mary. So you can get, so again, draw another line. On the top half, I want to know who is Paul's celebrity crush, and on the bottom, who is Bobby's celebrity crush? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know my celebrity crush. Oh, come on. You don't have any celebrity you see, and you just are like, come on, everybody does. There's nobody on this page is a people that you lust after, that you just think is beautiful, is a wonderful actor. Oh, wait, the top one is his. Or, wait, yeah, the top one is his crush. And then I have to be on the bottom. Yours is on the bottom, yeah. Oh, I know. I heard it. 
You know what a crush is, right? mostly for you, but for Paul to counter it. What would Paul say is the best meal you ever cooked? (laughs) (laughs) Hence why we are doing the recipe thing for you. Answers, please. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a Caesar salad. Oh, a Caesar salad. <laughs> Caesar salad. <laughs> please get that you're right. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so now this goes to the opposite end. What would Paul say is a meal he hopes you never cook again? Yeah. I don't cook that much, so he hasn't really had an opportunity. <laughs> You cook it all. <laughs> <laughs> Was there ever a meal that she cooked and you just said, oh my God, don't ever cook that again? Okay, he's writing something down, so you better think of something. Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? What is a meal that she has cooked for him that he hopes she never cooks again? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, she's writing a novel over here. Okay. Answers, please. We have peanut butter and jelly with not enough peanut butter <laughs> and chicken strips. <laughs> Okay. So yes, to wait till the turn. All right. Next question. What is Paul's favorite song? Oh dear. No helping. He doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing, so you know something. Okay, answers please. He says Amazing Grace, and you said some country song about a truck. (laughs) (laughs) Truck. 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 (laughs) They have the rest of their lives to get to know these answers. I guess so. Oh, come on, you've been together for what, a year, over a year, two years now? Come on. All right, Paul. Yes. What is Bobby's most annoying habit? Oh my. <laughs> 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 
I guess it is. She's just writing it down here. <laughs> okay, answers please. That she's usually late, and she says not waking up and being bright and chipper like he is. <laughs> All right. Paul, what one item of Bobby's clothing do you want to throw away? <laughs> That's an unanswered <laughs> question. I don't know. Can we pass well then, on that one? <laughs> no, because she's going to answer the same thing. So after that, <laughs> uh, I mean, it can be kind of generalized. It doesn't have to be a specific like, oh, it's this one with this color, unless you really know which one it is. But <clears throat> something you just basically never like to see her ever in, in again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, answers please. Her winter jacket and sweatpants. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you live in Chicago. Winter jackets are a necessity. So we moved to boys. So Bobby, then what is one of the items he tends to wear that you would like to throw away and never see him wear again? Okay, ready? She said your green t-shirt that has all the holes in it, and you said your old shoes. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> you know what shirt she's talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. What is the most important object that Bobby keeps on her nightstand? So put in parentheses what you think he's going to say, but. Okay, go ahead, show your answers. So. <laughs> she said her alarm clock's the most important, but you think the cell phone is, and she did say she, she thinks she'd write the cell phone. <laughs> they get a point for that one. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of a cute one. What does Paul say is his favorite physical feature of Bobby? Answers, please. She said hair, he says smile. <laughs> All right, what does Bobby say is her favorite physical feature of Paul? Ready? 
He says his hair. She says broad shoulders. <laughs> All right. Since pets are a big part of your lives now, how well do you know your past pets? So on the top half, so again, cut it in half. What was the first pet Paul ever owned and what was its name? And what was Bobby's on the bottom would be what was Bobby's first pet she ever owned and what was its name? Is it owned as an adult or owned as you know, a Whatever child? your first pet was ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. ever. So have you ever talked about your pets? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, are you ready yet or? Sure. Okay, answers please. Sparky the dog, you both got that as your first one. She said Sniffy was her first dog, and he said it was a poodle, but you said a mutt. That was as an adult. That was as an adult, yeah. Toby, I forgot. Sniffy was before Toby. Really? Yeah. Oh. It was What about your my piranhas. Yeah, I thought those were my dad. You're dad. my dad. Is that your pet too? No way. Okay. What's the what's what's their points right now? So they had one point on that one. So seven out of twenty questions. That's what you've gotten so far. All right. This will be for. 13 <laughs> points if, the, if, if he gets it correctly. It's all on Paul this time. For 13 points to make up the difference. Paul, what is the official color of the bridesmaids' dresses? <laughs> the proper color name? Yes, the color that we had to write down as being the color of our bridesmaids' dresses. What is the color officially? <laughs> Answer, please. Watermelon. Woo! <laughs> Good job. 